Hi everyone, Saskia here. Um, so I'm just gonna take a first look at a piggy that just came in. She was um, at a pet store and the employee called me and said, listen, they're gonna send her back to the uh, breeder because she's sick and they don't wanna do the treatment. So she has an abscess apparently, she's got you know multiple things going on and what's interesting is that this employee actually was here like a couple of weeks ago adopting so that's amazing she didn't want to get a piggy from the store so she came all the way here to adopt which is just a beautiful thing um, and uh, so I t told her I said listen if you ever have a guinea pig that is about to be sent back to these to the you know to the breeder call me let me know because I will take the pig no matter if I have space or not because I know that that is one that was not gonna make it once they send them back I, I just don't see the breeder, the facility, you know, taking them to a vet. I just don't see that happening. So, you know, I said, listen, I'm going to do it. Let's, let's do it. So she came here. Valerie actually picked her up on the way. She's here. I'm so happy. So let's go take a look. I haven't seen her yet. Hey, hi, sweet little thing. Hi, sweetie. Let me get my glasses. Totally forgot. Oh, no glasses here. Great. All right, it's okay. Okay. Let me have a look. Let's have a look. So you little, it's right here, and I can see how it's. So it's burst already, which is kind of good in a way, because probably all we have to do is take the scab off, and then get the rest of the pus out, and hopefully there is a big enough hole so we can flush it. So she's got lymphonditis. Yeah, it's very common actually. And sometimes they do burst on their own. So um, let's go start a treatment. I'll let me shave it and then we'll see what's, what's up, what's underneath there. Okay, let's see if she'll let me do it without anyone helping me. Hi, oh, sweetheart, I'm sorry. It's gonna feel a little weird. I think we need to charge our shaver. What a good girl. Yeah, I can't really shave up the scab, but at least we can see a little better what's going on underneath here. I know what's so crazy about this is that this is so treatable. This is so easy. She's not really sick. Usually when they have this, they don't show signs of illness. But you want to get it treated, of course. But it's just antibiotics, really. Because especially since this has already burst by itself. So there's not really much that you have to do. So I think I might want to soak this a little bit so I can get it off without hurting her too much. So let's soak this and then get it off. All right, so... I've been soaking it and it looks like it's about, oh, there we go. There, okay, that needed to come out. Off, that scab. Okay, there we go, good girl. And then we can see, ooh, that's a nasty one. Now, nothing is coming out, which means there's another kind of abscess behind it. So, I'm just gonna, oh, there we go, there's a little bit of something. It's very, very hard. It's very, very hard. Oof, and it's smelly. Okay, sweetheart, I know. Gave her some CBD already. Okay, mama, okay. If you can see, I don't know if you can see inside, but you will see there's like this hard white matter right inside. Which is tough because it's not liquid, so it's not easy to, you know, get it out. Okay, I know it's not, not pleasant at all. So I'm going to flush this with some betadine and then I'll probably put her on antibiotics and we'll see how she does. But yeah, she should make a full recovery. Yeah. Good girl. Got my betadine flush. Let's see 
there's always stuff in here. Just Oof. okay, there we go. They don't like the flushing, it's an unpleasant feeling. Yeah, I know mommy. We have to do it. We have to do it. Oops. <laughs> There. Okay. So hopefully with just antibiotics, I don't have to go poke and prod anymore. And we're just going to be able to, with continuous flushing, we're just going to be able to fix her up that way. So I think, I think she'll be okay. Yeah, good girl. So okay. So, you know, we'll do a follow up on her. I'll let you guys know. Probably we'll post on Facebook to see how she's doing. Um, I decided not to mess with the abscess behind it because it's quite like an, an open kind of crater looking like wound right now, even though there is something behind it. Um, I, I'm hoping that the antibiotics, especially that works really well with, when they have this with the little guys, it works really, really well. So I did debris the inside. We didn't show you that, but I did kind of debris it. We flushed it real good. And um, I, I just know she's gonna make a full recovery. So, yeah, I just don't understand why they would consider sending her back instead of just, you know, it's just, I guess, not knowing about the animal, really, you know, how fast they can heal from this, that this is not a huge deal, because I just don't see, you know, what would, what, what would happen to that guinea pig when it gets sent back to the breeder? I mean, that's the big question. What What's going to happen? I don't see them go, taking them to a, a vet to humanely euthanize. I don't see them administering treatment, but then again, I mean, we don't know because there's just no insight into that industry. They're so secretive about everything. We don't know what happens, you know, but um, she's a lucky girl. And, and the employee of the big name pet store that, that alerted me to the situation, thank you so much. You are a hero for that little girl. Thank you. <laughs>